Hello, my name is Chris Grella. I'm one of the pastors at State College E Free, and this is our Following Jesus Together Wednesday devotional. We're going to try and send these out each Wednesday evening, and we hope that you'll find this helpful and you also share this maybe with others, your friends and neighbors. I want to start today's Following Jesus Together devotional with a quick story I read on the internet. Once there was a depressed frog, and as he sat on the edge of the pond that he lived in, he began thinking and talking very negatively. And he did so to his friend who was a fish who lived in the pond, in the water. He said to the fish, I'm hungry, but I can't catch flies anymore as my tongue just isn't as quick as it used to be. But how will you catch anything? Unless you try, the fish asked the frog. Well, the frog replied to the fish, Well, I can't swim and I can't croak either. It makes my throat sore just to croak and make any noise. No, I just can't do much. Well, just then, onto the scene, a cat appeared and eyed the frog to eat him for breakfast. The fish yelled, to the frog, jump, jump frog. And before the frog could do that, he said, I can't, I can't say another word. So the fish decided to croak for him to save him and scare the cat away. Have you ever said to yourself, like the frog, I can't? I can't ultimately has the power to do several things in our lives. First, I can't can replace faith with doubt. I can't can immobilize us. I can't can keep us from doing good things. I can't tells our minds that we can do nothing and it can even drive us away from God. You know, in the Bible, there is an example of I can't thinking in the book of Numbers chapter 13. The story is told there that Israel had experienced some very big miracles in their history. Under Moses' leadership and especially God's awesome power, they had walked away from Egyptian slavery. But even after all of that, they had this I can't mentality, when they should have had faith and hope. Before they were called and even could take the land, the promised land, a representative from the 12 tribes have come back from kind of spying out the promised land, telling of how great it was. But these representatives, they, they worried. They worried about the people who were living in the land at the time. They believed the descendants of Anak and the Amalekites and Hittites and others who inhabited the land, they were just going to be too strong for them. For them. They were going to be too big. Verse 30 picks up the story for us. Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. Then the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we are. So they brought to the people of Israel a bad report of the land that they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out is a land that devours its inhabitants. Because of their fear, they failed to move forward. They failed to receive God's blessing and move forward in God's power. For us, do we ever live with an I can't mentality? In Philippians 4.13, a very famous verse, Paul states these words, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Through him, through Christ, now, I'm not sure what Paul meant is that we as individuals are meant to do everything. We're not. 
Paul is affirming, though, that whatever God wanted him to do, he could only do with God's power. Paul's statement of faith, it makes the difference in overcoming the I can't thoughts. The I can't thoughts that can often paralyze us. This week, as as we follow Jesus together, I encourage you to talk and pray with a trusted friend about your I can'ts. Give your I can'ts over to God. Allow him to renew and change and give you the strength to say, he, he, meaning Jesus, can in you. And because of that, we all can take a step forward in faith this week. We look forward again to having you join us on online this Sunday for a very special service, a special communion service. We hope that you'll join us. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.